Good morning. <laughs> Welcome back to another daily vlog. Um, so I'm outside because I'm trying to film some videos and it's not going super well. So I thought I would just start off the vlog. First of all, I'm, I was filming my Sunday video, so stay tuned for that. And like, I had spiders crawling on me. I'm trying to be all serious and you know, things are happening. <sighs> I've had to go in and get people snacks. I told them like, I can see them. Lucy's in there too. And I'm like, if y'all need me, come get me. Well, they needed a snack. <laughs> so we've already done that. Um, let's see. The tripod is like wonka wonkified. It's okay. I got a brand new tripod and I'm still having issues. There's this one tripod I had and I had it for years and I loved it and then it broke. And I have tried several since then and I hate them. So anyway, uh, welcome back to another video. Yesterday was a kind of a blah day. I'm not going to lie. I had back pain. I had leg pain. I had a migraine. It was just a really rough time. Um, we took the whole day off. Like, of course I had to like be a mom and we did lunch and dinner and all, you know, all the stuff for the kids, bath time, all of that. But like, I didn't do anything house related and I didn't do anything, um, YouTube related. Besides, I did edit one video. I keep saying I took the day off, and then the more I think about it, I really didn't. <laughs> I guess I did edit, and I had to do a thumbnail and all that, but I didn't do as much as I normally do, and we are a little bit in the weeds with this week, so I'm going to kind of tell you what I have going on today, and then you guys will just come with me. I did get ready for the day today, so that makes me feel a lot better. I am feeling a lot better, too. My I pulled something in my leg, but it's already so so much better today. My migraine is gone. My back pain is is a lot less. So back to it today. Um, Thursday afternoon, which is I think when this video is going to come out, it's Tuesday now. Thursday we are leaving for a wedding. And so I have today and tomorrow and, to, and Thursday morning before all that. And we have a lot to squeeze into that. First of all, I have a lot of housework to do. I don't know why. I'm, I'm trying to wash different bedding. Um, we have a bunch of clothes that I need to be washed. I think it's like, it's going to be three or four load day. I need to wash our sheets. It's just like one of those days. So I'm working on that. Um, I've got a lot of YouTube work to do because I want to get pre-filmed so that while we're gone, I, I want to vlog part of us being at the wedding and stuff. I don't know, or at least like getting ready for the wedding and then how it went because we haven't all been to a wedding together ever, not all five of us. Um, but I want to have it all scheduled before I leave so that I don't have to worry about editing. So I'm working on that. And then, um, I still don't know what we're all wearing to the wedding. I, I don't know. Um, I kind of have an idea on the boys, but I need to go buy Nate's shirt. They didn't have the size that he needed, so I'm going to check a different store. I don't know what I'm going to wear, but I did get three big boxes of clothes from a friend. So I'm going to go through and see if there's anything in there before I buy anything. And I need to kind of go through those clothes so that whatever doesn't work, I can pass off to someone else. Okay, I got another bug on me. Um, also, Father's Day is Sunday, which means I need to get all the stuff I'm doing for Father's Day. And I, I'm not talking about stuff for David. I'm talking about stuff for the church. <laughs> I need to talk to David and be like, what do you want for Father's Day? Because right now all I'm focused on is this church service, just like we did for Mother's Day. He said that all he wanted was to like hang out with us. So we'll probably go to lunch or something. I need to get him something though. I'm kind of uh, behind on that, uh, but for the church, I'm doing a breakfast, like a special breakfast, a little step up from what I normally do. I think I'm going to do like a pancake station with like different toppings. Um, I think that'll be really easy. And then I'm going to do some bacon. I need to get all the stuff for that. So I'm not having to buy it. We won't get home until Saturday afternoon or evening. So we won't have a lot of time once we get back. I need to get all of that stuff. Also, I'm doing a photo op like we did for Mother's Day. And it requires me blowing up hundreds of balloons. And they're the like tiny balloons. I'm kind of nervous about it. I thought this was going to be really easy, but I need to get a balloon pump. David says he has one that he thinks will work. So as soon as I get that from him, I need to start blowing up these balloons. Um, so that should be interesting. <laughs> Uh, so just a lot of that kind of stuff. So my plan today is to go ahead and get YouTube stuff going. 
and the laundry going. And then when David gets home tonight, I may run to the store and get all the pancake stuff, the bacon, um, look around if we still need stuff for people to wear to the wedding. I am at a loss with what to wear. I have stuff I could wear. None of it's, I have the dress I wore to my brother's wedding like five years ago, which I could wear again, but I'm like 30 or 40 pounds smaller than the one I wore. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know. So y'all stay tuned. Um, it should be a fun day. I'm going to get as much done as I can and I will just update you as I go. Um, but yeah, let's spend the day together. I'm on my like third cup of coffee. That's, that's just how it is today. So y'all come hang out with me today. It is the time for lunch. And I know you always like to see what the kids are having. Today is leftover lunch. So we had some leftovers from this weekend and they need to be eaten. And this was very easy to throw together. So everybody kind of has different stuff. Um, Nate has a leftover piece of pizza. My mom made homemade pizza while she was here. And so this is the last piece of that. Um, it's a really big like rectangle piece. I may cut that in half for him. He's got some strawberries and then some, these are the like golden Oreo cookies or the vanilla cookies from Aldi. It's the Aldi brand. He's been liking them fine. Um, Lucy has some leftover pasta just with some butter. And then I did her like a little fruit and veggie plate. So she's got cucumbers, cantaloupe, strawberries, and grapes. And then Mark has a little snacky plate here. Uh, he had a late breakfast so he may even not even be that hungry but i got him a danimal smoothie an applesauce pouch some animal crackers goldfish some little um, mozzarella cheese bites and cucumbers so this is everything i'm gonna get them we have a little bit of lemonade i'm gonna divide up and that will be the lunch today all right you guys update I'm trying to drink a lot of water it's now two o'clock I have filmed all the videos I need to film. I've edited two out of the three, which is great. I've gotten a lot of laundry done and um, I fed the kids lunch. You saw that. So just been, I've been rocking and rolling. I changed my shirt because I was filming another video and I don't like to have two videos go up that like look exactly the same, like not even for the video's sake, but like for the thumbnail. So I'm going to put my t-shirt back on, but I just put this on to film. I'm talking, um, if you're watching this, come back for Saturday's video. I'm talking again about the scale because uh, the way in I had this week and just some things I've been thinking about the scale. If you are frustrated with your scale not moving, I have some encouragement for you. So make sure you come back for Saturday's video. Um, yeah, because I think... We just put so much pressure on ourselves when it comes to the scale in terms of like our identity. And also if we're losing, like if we're on a weight loss journey, like the only thing we look at is the scale. So I want to talk to you guys about that on Saturday, but I am tired. <laughs> I've been working nonstop. So I'm going to go check the laundry. I'm going to sit down. I have like a few more chapters of the book I'm reading. So I'm going to take a little break. It's two o'clock now. Um, I can take a little break except for laundry. That's going to have to continue because I still have several more loads to do today. Um, I'm reading this book called Only If You're Lucky by Stacey Willingham. And I really like some of her other books like Flicker in the Dark. There's another one I really liked. But this one is moving rather slow. It's finally getting interesting right at the very end. So I'm not sure that I'd recommend it. But I'll, I'll save my review for when I finish it. But I think I'm going to make myself a latte. Yes, I need it. And um, I'm going to keep laundry going. And then I'll bring you guys with me to the store if I get to go tonight. We need stuff from Aldi. We need stuff from Sam's. I want to look for a wedding dress. I went through, not a wedding dress, but a dress to wear to this wedding. I went through all the clothes for my friend and there were some really good things, but nothing really wedding appropriate. So... I don't know what I'm going to do. I wait, I've waited to the last minute. I, I, I can wear something that may be a little bit big. It will not be the end of the world, but I would like to have something new. So I may go one more time to Kohl's or somewhere to just see if there's anything. Lucy also has like church dresses that she could wear, but it would also be fun to have something new. So anyway, if I, if I do any of that, I will definitely show y'all. And then 
David also picked up my Walgreens order that I did a couple days ago and I just haven't picked it up yet. And it's, it did not go as, sometimes when you're doing couponing deals, it doesn't go like you think it's going to go. I need to look and see if I need to contact customer service. I was supposed to get like $22 back and it only shows me getting like 10. So not the best. I mean, I spent 24, get back 10, still good, but not as good as I was hoping. So, you know, you can't win every time, but I will show you guys that too. It's a very small order. So anyway, I'm going to go for a little bit and I'll see y'all back later. Guys, so I'm gonna try the viral cottage cheese flatbread. If you've seen that going around, every I have had so many people because they know I love cottage cheese send me that recipe. Um, I have zero plans for dinner, and I really need to get some stuff from the store, but I don't want to overdo it because we're gonna be going out of town. Um, so I thought this would help me get dinner on the table. We would do like turkey and cheese flatbreads with like a side salad. Um, so I'm going to take one cup of cottage cheese and two eggs and blend it all together with some seasoning. I'm going to line a parchment paper on my baking pan. I'm going to bake at 350 for like 30 or 40 minutes and it's supposed to turn into like a wrap. So I will let you guys know how this goes. I'm going to get my blender out and blend it up and then I'll show you what it looks like. It said not to do it too thin, but I don't know how thin is too thin. I did it. I just eyeballed it. So this is two eggs, one cup of cottage cheese, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and garlic powder. I've been preheated. I sprayed my parchment paper just in case. And I'm gonna stick this in and I will show you guys how this turns out. So this should make David and I both, like if we split it, it'll be about two thirds of a serving of protein. So once we add a little bit of turkey and cheese, that'll be perfect. And then we'll have our salad. So I'm hoping this turns out because I don't have a backup plan. Layla, I don't have a backup plan for dinner. So we shall see. Here is my plate. It tore just a little bit right there, but I think it's still gonna taste really good. Um, so it's got turkey and cheese and lettuce and then I have some roasted zucchini here and I'm gonna use some honey mustard on my wrap. Ooh, okay guys so that was good but I think I slightly overcooked it because when I first checked it it was still a little it just didn't look quite like done enough but I think I should have pulled it out because I let it go a few extra minutes and it got like really crackery like so when you rolled it it just broke apart and mine was even like I made mine David wasn't hungry yet actually I need to run back in and get oh, so, oh, I totally forgot to grab a fueling um oh there's some in here I'm just gonna steal his and then replace them um I was gonna go ahead and eat early and then eat a fueling while I was gone shopping David had just eaten a fueling and so he wasn't ready to eat his dinner yet and so his kind of sat for a few extra minutes just cooling. And so when I went to make his wrap to leave with him, it broke even worse. So if you make that, make sure you pull it out before you think you need to. I think if I had done that, it would have stayed way more like pliable. So I still need to play around with it, but it was really good. A little bit dry. Um, but once I added the honey mustard to the wrap, it was really good and different and kind of felt like I was having a sandwich, you know? Um, okay. I have a lot of like errands I need to run actually. Yeah. I need to go back in. I forgot something else. So I want to get some stuff for the church for father's day. I told you guys this, like all the stuff that we need for, failed. for the breakfast. I don't know what in the world that is saying. Um, and then also I want to check home goods because we are out of our sugar-free syrups. I was going to order some online, but it's just so more, much more expensive to order from the website. Like if you order from Jordan's skinny syrup, it's like $8.99 a bottle and they had a code for like 20% off, but still that ends up being really expensive. And if I can find them at home goods or TJ Maxx or whatever, it's like $4.99 or $5.99 at the most. Usually $4.99. It used to be $3.99, but I hardly ever see that price anymore. So I'm going to see what they have. I need to go to Walmart and look for Nate's shirt. I, it's just like a lot of short errands. I want to go to Kohl's and look at the dresses. I want to go to Aldi because we need some groceries. 
felt like there was some Sam's because there's some things I need from Sam's for the church. So just a lot of in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. So if I find anything exciting, I'll show y'all. If not, I'll just kind of wrap up everything when I get home. David's like, take your time, but I just don't want to be gone forever. It's already 515. So we'll see how long all of this takes, but I'm going to go run some errands. All right. I'm just going to do a voiceover on this because the audio was terrible. Here's all the sugar-free and non-sugar-free syrups that I found at Home Goods. Um, I was showing you guys the price of these. These were $7.49 for the Tarani syrups, which was a little more than I wanted to spend, um, especially since I could get the Jordan Skinny syrup around that price with the coupon. Uh, so I was trying to do it cheaper. So I found these, this brand, which was actually more, um, you got more in a bottle than the Tarani ones, and they were $4.99. So I found the Dolce de Leche and the Caramel. So I got that at Home Goods. Then I walked over to TJ Maxx and I hit the jackpot. All of these Mateo sugar-free syrups were $4.99. They were a full liter, just like the other ones. I got two of the thin English toffee. Um, the butter toffee Jordan skinny syrup is my absolute favorite. So I'm hoping this is similar. And then I got a toasted marshmallow, a French vanilla. Um, I ended up putting this French vanilla away because... I didn't need two of them. And then, wow. yeah, Mark's here with me, y'all. <laughs> um, and then I also found, look at this, the unicorn sugar-free syrup. This will be great to put in my water. It's it's very popular that I've heard. And then this one is a uh, salted chocolate caramel, which looks really good. And then at the checkout, I found a s'mores one and a birthday cake one. So I ended up getting eight more bottles at TJ Maxx. So I got 10 altogether. And then I showed you guys a couple of cups I thought were cute. I am not going to buy them because we have so many, but look at this. Be happy. So cute. Mark is saying, wow. That's so cool. That's that cute. Yeah. And then I saw these. I love these Ray Dunn mugs. The size is perfect. Not today, yeah. Satan. And yeah. you are in my sunshine, but I did not get them. So my husband will not kill me, but yeah, I totally scored here. What is that? Yeah, all those coffee syrups. Yes. Okay, I actually got 10 syrups and I spent, unless she didn't scan one right or something, I feel like it should be more with tax. I spent right at $50. So anyway, I'm not sure. I'll have to look at my receipt, but that is a great, great victory. So, okay, I'm going to head and do my rest of my errands, but I had to show you all that. If you like the skinny syrups, the Jordan's ones are very hard to find. I can't hardly find them anymore. You can order online, but like I said, they're $8.99. There's always discount codes, but still they're pretty expensive. The Tarani used to be cheaper than $7.49 at TJ Maxx. I feel like they used to be like $5.99, something like that. Um, but anyway, check because I really like, I've used some of these like different brands before and I feel like they're just as good. So check your TJ Maxx and or Home Goods or Marshalls or anywhere like that. Usually you can find them. If you can't find them, just keep checking back because like they had a bunch today, they will be gone. They will be gone. So you just have to check a bunch. So I'm, I'm going to quit updating y'all because I feel like this vlog is kind of going off the rails in terms of length, but I have been still hurting in my thigh and I was starting to get really concerned because I'm like, what happened? I went to the gym on Wednesday, no Thursday. I worked my legs. I felt fine the next day. We went to the water park on Friday. I did all kinds of stairs and water slides. I felt fine the next day. Saturday evening is when my legs started hurting. And I'm like, what in the world? What could I have done? And I think I just figured it out. I'm waiting here at Panera. I ordered a drink, but instead of getting the drink, I think I'm just going to get a big ice water. Kind of feels like a waste, but I do not need anything else besides water because I've had a latte and I've had an energy drink and all that. So I'm just going to get a water. And at least it's free. I was going to go to Sonic. I'm like, no, let me just go to Panera. Um, anyway, so I'm about to go in and get that. But I think I figured it out. My mom painted my nails on Saturday afternoon. And I was trying to balance on the edge of the tub like the girls did, <laughs> soaking my feet. And then I was going to turn around and let her start on one of my legs while the other one was soaking. And when I did that, I put all of my weight on this leg that is hurting for like a split second. And I remember it cramping up really bad. And then I was like, I can't do it. And so I just didn't do that again. And 
probably like a few hours later is when it started hurting this bad. So I definitely think I just strained or pulled something, but it was driving me crazy because I'm like, what could I have done? But now that makes total sense. I literally prayed, God, help me remember what I did because I was starting to think, do I need to go to the doctor? Um, I don't want to pay all this money if, you know, it's truly just me doing something weird, but I don't remember doing anything weird. And God brought it back to my mind, which I am so thankful. And it gives me a lot of peace of mind because I was starting to get really worried. Um, anyway, so that makes sense. I'm going to get my water. I'm going to eat my fueling. And then my plan is to go to Kohl's. If I find something, I'll show you. If not, I won't show you anything else. I'm going to go to Aldi. I'm going to go to Sam's and maybe Kroger to get some groceries, but just a couple of things at each place. Uh, because most of that stuff is the stuff I need to get for the church. So anyway, I know this vlog is getting long. I just went to Walmart and found Nate's shirt. Um, it's just like the one I got Mark, except instead of blue, Mark's is blue. I got Nate like this pretty green teal color. So they'll be in like springy colors, but they won't be like super matchy. And then I got a card for the wedding and I'm going to get them a gift card or something. I could not find gift cards at Walmart. Are they, do they not have gift cards anymore? I, don't, I, I could not find them. So I'm just going to get them at Kroger and I'll get like fuel points for it anyway. So anyway, I will see you guys back at home unless just something really exciting happens. Who wants a little garage haul here? Um, I did not find anything at Kohl's. Kohl, I don't understand the style right now. I guess I'm getting old because everything just looks almost like a little house on the prairie or something. It's just, it's not flattering to me. Um, I did find this dress for Lucy at Sam's. I have seen this dress over and over and I keep coming back to it. I think it would be really pretty on Lucy. I texted her a picture and she wasn't sure about it, but I went ahead and bought it. Figured if she doesn't like it, I can always take it back. Um, it was like $18, but it's really cute. I'm hoping she'll want to wear it to the wedding and then they'll all be kind of in springy colors. If not, whatever, I'll take it back. Um, but I just keep passing it and I had to buy it. All right, um, let me show you the stuff I got for the church and then I'll show you all of our stuff. So this is all stuff for Father's Day breakfast. I'm doing like a pancake bar with like all different kinds of toppings we have left over from like the ice cream day. I have a lot of stuff that we could already like reuse. I'm keeping it real simple with these frozen pancakes. If you've never had this brand, the D waffle bakers, they are really good and they stay great like in a crock pot warm. So I got two packs of the regular buttermilk. If we don't use all of these, I will save them for another breakfast at the church, but two packages of those and I got one package of the blueberry. I got just some like tub margarine for the bar. Um, we needed more half and half for the coffee bar, more apple juice. We were almost out on Sunday, some whipped cream bacon. Uh, this worked out great when I did um, our Thanksgiving brunch. I cooked this in the oven and then kept it warm in a crock pot. It stayed perfect. So that's what I'm going to do again. And then our children's pastor had told me we were out of fruit snacks. I buy these for the church because they're the cheapest I can find and the kids all seem to like them. So they're like $10.98, but you get a hundred packs and they last a good long while. So that's all the stuff for the church. Here's all of our stuff. I spent 40 bucks at Aldi and 15 at Kroger. So let's start over here at Aldi. We were out of our non-fat Greek yogurt. I use this for so many things. Uh, we use it in place of sour cream. I make recipes with it. It's just, it has to, we have to have that. Got the kids some more cheese crackers. I got Lucy some more chewy bars. Nate's favorite, just 57 cent mac and cheese. I got a couple boxes of that. I got some Colby Jack, and then I also got the reduced fat Mexican style that we like. I got some more light ranch, lean ground chicken. I thought we could do something with. Lucy likes to put these mini chocolate chips on top of her yogurt, and we were getting low, so I went ahead and got another bag. Spaghetti squash. Lucy has been asking for um, dino nuggets. They did not have those, but they did have these chicken fries, which I feel like are a similar kind of taste. So I got for those. Um, I went ahead and got another gallon of milk and I got a bunch of the kids' favorite yogurt. I think I got 10 in total. We go through this like crazy. Y'all know it's just, they're 65 cents each. Each, they're 11 grams of protein. They're just really good. And then the stuff I got for at, at uh, what am I saying? The stuff I got at Kroger, 
These were on sale for $1.99, all of their ice cream, like, little treats. But these are the mini sandwiches. So I thought this would just be a good thing to have in the freezer for, like, a quick, like, especially for Lucy mainly, um, for a little dessert treat here and there. But they're small. So I went ahead and got a couple boxes of those. Or we could take them to the church for a treat for the kids or something, but they're not too much, you know. I am working on an Alani taste test. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. I'm basically compiling me tasting them all, but on different days so that I can actually enjoy them and not waste all of them because obviously I can't drink them all in one day. That would be really bad. So um, I got some more flavors for that taste test, and then we needed more American cheese and it was on sale for $1.99. So that is everything. I am exhausted. I was out for hours doing all this. It doesn't seem like that much. Plus I got all those coffee syrups and then that's that shirt for Nate at Walmart. So that is it. I will see you guys back inside and we'll close out today. Guys, I am so worn out. Um, dress did not end up working for Lucy. So we've got to take that back tomorrow. And then the Walgreens order that David picked up, we just went through it. And they left out like two items. I was supposed to get shampoo and conditioner of Garnier Fructis and shampoo and conditioner of the Garnier Whole Blends. And they just gave me the shampoo, no conditioner. And I went back through my receipt. I paid for both. So we're going to take that, deal with that tomorrow. Um, also take that dress back to Sam's. And I forgot contact solution. I was going to buy contact solution at Sam's. Totally forgot. So anyway, came home. Once I put everything away... I started blowing up balloons with the balloon pump. We're gonna have to blow up so many balloons, but the balloon pump makes a big difference on how fast that goes. Um, I'm just hoping this turns out okay. Uh, I'm not a crafty person, and we don't have as much time as we did for Mother's Day. Like <laughs> This thing is gonna have to turn out okay. Does anyone else, like if you're a stay-at-home mom, or I think just all moms, do you ever feel like you are going from morning till night with no break and you have no downtime. <laughs> so I, I have felt like those the last few weeks, especially with summer being here. It's like, I am just going and going and going and going and just wearing myself out. Um, I don't know. I need to like, I did schedule a small break. I finished that book today. I read for about 30 minutes. That is the only time I wasn't actively working either doing laundry doing youtube like it just was constant and then all the running around today coming home blowing up balloons it's just like i feel like i have all these plates spinning and i never get to like put them down <laughs> and i just feel pretty worn out so if you feel the same way you're not alone um i am just completely exhausted um anyway that's going to be it for today. I am glad to get all those little things done today. And then at least the little the other things like taking the dress back and fixing the Walgreens thing. At least that's not, it should be pretty quick. Um, my goal tomorrow is to deal with the balloons, which I'm going to have to like blow up all the balloons, take them to the church because we can't bring the frame back home. It's too big. And then deal with trying to make it look right at the church so anyway it's gonna be a busy it's gonna be a busy time and then we've got a pack and all that for Thursday so um it'll all get done I know it will it will it will get done I got all my laundry done except for our sheets everything else all of the bedding that everyone slept on this last few days all of the clothes all of the towels that's all done. And that was a lot of laundry. So I'm very excited about that. I'll wash our sheets tomorrow and uh, we should be good to go to get ready to pack. That's it for today, y'all. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you liked the video and you want to see more like it, make sure you give the vlog a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Definitely subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye y'all.